Hey guys, it's Mason back with another video, and today we are doing something very special. We are doing my second ever Q&A, woo! You guys are probably wondering, wait, you announced this a long time ago. So why is it coming out so late? And the answer to that question is, one of the questions we have been getting for the Q&A, when are you going to hit 300 subscribers? And we finally did it. The first question is from both Malachi and Gavin. They ask, are you going to be a level eight or a level nine next season? I will be a level eight JE because I'm not old enough for level nine. I will only be 12 years old and you have to be at least 13 years old to do level nine. The only difference is I don't use pommels on the pommel horse, but otherwise everything is the same, so it's not that big of a deal. Chris asks, have you ever thought about quitting? Ah, uh, no, not once have I thought about quitting. I mean, I'm sure there will be times when I feel like quitting, but not yet, I have not felt like quitting. Well, gymnastics is really fun and I love to do it, but when people do quit, I feel like it's either because of other things they're doing that they like to do more, like other sports, like baseball or basketball or something like that, or they just find something that's super hard and they just want to quit. But when you don't quit and you finally make it, it's like a really good feeling and you feel like you've just progressed a lot after making just one skill that was hard for you. David and Jay ask, when did you start gymnastics and why did you start? So I started gymnastics when I was about one and a half, just in a preschool class with my parents in the room, or with my mom in the room. My dad started me in gymnastics because he wanted me to be a wrestler and he thought it'd be good for me to do something athletic for that. But then, yeah, I never quit and I'm still doing gymnastics. Christopher asks, what level or season do you feel was your best? My best season? I'd say it was level five, where I was a regional champion. But my best year progression-wise would have been just this past level eight season progression-wise. Matthew asks, what is your biggest goal in your gymnastics career? Well, like a lot of gymnasts, it is to go to the Olympics and a lot of gymnasts just say, oh, I think I'm gonna make it to the Olympics and then they don't try. But I think when you do try and you put your mind to it that you can do it and my goal is definitely 100% to go to the Olympics. And of course, win a gold medal in the all around because that would be amazing. Solon asks, are you my friend? 100%, yeah. <laughs> In gymnastics, you get to meet a lot of people, like even people from other states. Like I meet them and when we go to travel meets, we hang out a lot. And even though someone is in Minnesota, um, we get to see each other even more than when I'm out of state. But making, in gymnastics, you make a lot of friends and that's pretty cool about, that's a pretty cool part about it. So he is from Mini Hops, which is a different gym in Minnesota. And even though he's in a different gym, we still like cheer for each other and things like that. And even guys from other states like Wisconsin, Maxine Khan, we're buddies and we cheer for each other. And that's something I really like about gymnastics is a lot of the friendships that you get to make. Bryce asks, what are your main goals in gymnastics? College, Olympics, national team, world? Well, like I said before, it is the Olympics, but other things I wanna do uh, throughout my career are like World Cups, World Championships, um, like US Championships and Winter Cup and just other competitions like nationally and even like the junior team that travels for USA, that would be really cool to do and those are other goals that I have in gymnastics. So it's not just the Olympics, there's other goals along the way that I'd like to hit. Ryan asks, what is your favorite skill on floor exercise? On floor, my favorite skill is probably a front one and a half in a straight position, which is also known as a woody. That's my favorite skill that I can do right now, but my favorite skill to watch on floor would definitely be 
double Arabia and half out. And especially by your Moldauer, it's always so perfect to watch, and it's really just a, it's really a cool skill. Alex asks, what is your favorite event? My favorite event is either high bar or P-bars. They're both pretty close there. I like both of them. Both for similar reasons, they're just swinging, and you feel like free, because on high bar, you just, you're swinging them around the bar, and you're like doing dismounts, and things like that are really fun, and P-bars is the same way, because you're just, I don't know, swinging on them is really fun. And then pommel horse would be very close to those as well. A lot of people hate pommel horse, but I think pommel horse is really fun. Flip edits asks, what is the highest value skill that you've ever done? The highest value skill? I'm trying to think. I've done a woo on horse, which is an E, and also like flare travels, which are E's. But the highest value skill I've done is probably an E on pommel horse. I've done like D's on a lot of events, but I think E is my highest value I've done. Yako wants to know, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, well, a gymnast, but other than that, I don't really know right now what I'm going to do. I know that I want to do gymnastics as long as I can until my body doesn't let me anymore. But after that, I really don't have plans yet. Well, I don't really want a job. I prefer to like run businesses and things like that. Like YouTube will be something that I'll probably still do and things like that. Cause I don't want to have a real job. I'll do with businesses, other things like that. Brandon asks, do you have a six pack? A six pack? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do have a six pack, but I'm not gonna show you right now. Rylan asks, what is your favorite skill? My favorite skill is, um, I don't know. I Something like maybe double layout on high bar or um, to pelt on parallel bars. So those are my two skills that I can do right now that are probably my favorite. But my dream skill would be a double Arabian half out on floor. Like I said earlier, I think it's a really cool skill to watch. Joshua asks, what is your best memory from Nationals? My best memory from Nationals? Um, it would probably be hanging out with people that I know, but I haven't actually got to met in person. Those are really cool. Like I've met them, but I like I don't really see them very often. And though that's like the only meet I really get to see them. Like people from California and Florida. That was really cool to see them. Jesse asks, what skills do you get to work on this summer? What skills do I get to work on this summer? I get to work on a lot of new skills this summer. One skill that I have been working on and just finally did in the pit was a, my double layout on high bar. I've been working jam on high bar. On pillow bars, I've been working on my pelt and double back. Horse, I've been working on uh, flare handstand and flare travels and just making those better. Rings, I've been working double layout for dismount and just back giants and stuff like that. Floor, I've been working just doing bigger twisting skills and working on my combination passes, which aren't very good yet. And just things like that were probably the most obvious ones that I've been doing. And on vault, I've been doing like training cause. Yeah, just pretty much cause. Brayden asks, what do you hope to achieve in your adult life? In my adult life? I don't know. Well, I'm 11 and I don't really have that many plans yet, like I said before. My adult life, I would like to go to the Olympics, which I'd technically be an adult then, but that's really it for now. I don't really know yet. I'm sure there will be things, but I don't know yet. Your dad asks, when are you gonna hit a thousand subscribers? Really, dad, come on. Uh, in a year, we're gonna hit it by, by Tokyo 2020 Olympics. We're gonna have 1,000 subscribers, guys. We got this. Share with your friends. Come on, we gotta hit 1,000. And remember, guys, if you are new here, you gotta stick the dismount on that subscribe button. And see you guys next time.